Welcome, this is Saul Ongoiba, founder and CEO of Ultimate Pig Transformation, where we help people transmute your destiny. In fact, what we do, we help people live the life they deserve and they want so that they can become the new leader of change that they are meant and born to be. I truly believe that there is, this is a new era. It's a new era where we have a new type of leadership. There is a new era and there is a new type of leadership that is born. The new leader, it's not anymore that people that have been elected, you don't need to look in the ballot. The new type of leader that's emerging nowadays is the people that create a life that matters. And that's why we're here to help and empower people so that they can live a life that matters. And here, basically, you know, we'll be sharing uh, all these tools and techniques so people can live a life that matters. Yes, you're probably wondering who's this guy with a funny accent. Well, if you don't mind, let me introduce myself. I was born two, 250 miles away from Tumbatu. And Tumbatu is in Mali. In case you're still wondering, I'm not saying Bali, but Mali. Yes, there is a beach behind me. Um, if you think about a surfboard, that's what I'm talking about. Mali is West Africa. And actually, Tumbatu, I was born in a town called Sivare. And Sivare is 250 miles away from Tumbuktu. And I'm standing here before you to share with you that I was born in one of the poorest countries. And what pains me, what was painful for me was to see people living a day-to-day -day life believing that their life didn't matter. Maybe I did at some point, but I think what helped me was truly and frankly, I'm grateful to my parents. My mom used to say, hey soul, hey soul, treat people right. Treat people the way you want you to be treated. Treat people with dignity and respect. And I still remember my dad deep voice saying, hey, you gotta be always your best. You gotta do your best. So those are some of the value that helped me to become that little achiever that allows me to be a world-class athlete in judo. Not only that, but to achieve at many levels. And I'm here standing by you that at age nine years old, I had a dream. Do you have a dream? Do you remember having a dream when you, were, when you were a child? My dream was to go to the Olympics. Yes. In fact, I had, you know, it's, it was 20 years ago, that 27 years ago that I started judo. And I competed for 20 years and I was able to get, compete at the world class level. And I was able to, to, to go to San Jose State, which is the number one varsity judo club in judo in the world. And that allowed me to basically, you know, achieve and compete at a high level. And uh, at age 32, young of age, I quit my job one year before the Beijing Olympic in 2007, trying to pursue my dream. And, you know, I broke my nose and, you know, you can broke bones and, you know, you got all those injuries come along. And, and fortunately, it was a bittersweet story. I came back $29,000 and $250 in debt with broken bones. And I didn't make the Olympics. It was a sad story for me. I was so close, but I didn't make it. What my, most importantly, what was broken was my spirit. I spent 18 months almost depressed, 
with two engineering degrees in Silicon Valley, I couldn't find a job. And I was searching, I was lost. I was broken, I didn't know what to do. And I had a wake up call. The wake up call was basically a car accident where I was sleeping on a wheel because I was doing two or three jobs. And BAM! The car accident, airbag went on. And that was an awakening for me to pick myself up. At that moment, I understood what people felt where I was born. At that moment, I realized the feeling that people feel when they feel that their life doesn't matter. What I realized then was that it wasn't a Malian problem, it wasn't an African problem, it wasn't an European problem, in fact that's where I met my wife. It's not an American problem. But what I realized then and there was that people believing that they don't deserve, people believing that their life don't, doesn't matter is a humanity problem. And right then and there, I made a pledge. I understood that my mission, my life mission, was bigger than just making the Olympics. Right then and there, I pledged to help humanity so that I can help people feel that their life matter and right then and there I committed myself to seek with the masters of the world you talk about Tony Robbins Mary Morrissey all those people and with my own experience being a top achiever and also being an engineer I was able to dig deeper after seven years of study to found what, where the problem really lies. And I'm really here to stand before you to share with you that this is a new era. It's a new era and there's a new leader of change. You are the change agent. If you don't need any more, anybody to give you that right, it is your birthright to be that new leader of change. You are the new leader of change. The new leader of change is a person that creates and believes that their life matter. And I'm here before you to stand here to let you know that your life matters. You deserve to live your best life. It's your birthright. You don't need any more anybody permission to live that. And that's what I believe. I believe that you're here to manifest.